Hi guys, welcome to uh, another tutorial. Uh, this time around, I will show you how, simply how to edit the way Beat Saber mods work. Uh, but before we get started, thank you for 104 subscribers. It was, I'm just kidding. So what you have to do first is plug your quest and allow access data. What I mean by that is when you plug your quest on the screens of your quest, there should be a pop-up that says, allow, access, allow this device to access data. Click allow and boom, you should have this on this PC, this little extension here. Double click on that, internal sh shared storage, Android, uh, data, com.beatgames.beatsaver. You have to go through a lot of files, yes. And then go to files and mod CFGs. You have all this and then you go to mod underscore CFGs mod, and you click, double click on that and boom. You have all the mods you previously installed via VMBF here. What you do is you double click on whatever mod you want to edit. For example, let's uh, take Rainbow Mod, I don't know. And you have all these configurations. You have Lights Falls. This is basically what, what what this means is basically Rainbow Lights, Rainbow Walls, Rainbow Sabers, etc, etc. What you do, this is false, that means that Rainbow Lights are not activated. What you do to activate them is you replace false with true. And once you've done that, you have Rainbow Lights, boom, you're done. I'm gonna keep it on false though. What you do then is you hit Control Save, or control S or just X button and then save with name or save whatever. I'm gonna hit control S and then you'd name it the same way you named the mod was originally named. You gotta add this uh, extension dot JSON. And this is the most confusing part of the whole process. Now you could save it as a document as a text document dot txt, but put the ANSI encoding or just go to all files and utter UTF-8 or NSI, it doesn't matter. Just remember to add this, this little thing at the end. You save it on documents, whatever, desktop, whatever you want to save it. I'm going to close this because I already have it saved. And you go to documents or whatever and you just drag it in. You just drag it in into the mod CFGs. As easy as that. 